Barabara kabisa ni tarehe 17 mwezi wa Aprili mwaka 2022. Matumaini yangu kwamba buheri wa afya popote pale pasaka njema na iliyonafanaka tele kwa ndugu zangu wa Kristo ambao wanaendelea kusherehekea msimu huu wa pasaka. Karibu sana kwenye Mbiu Weekend. Jina langu ni Suleiman Yere. Na tukianza na sherehe hizo za pasaka ni kwamba waumini wa madhehebu mbalimbali ya Kikristo walifurika makanisani leo hii kuendeleza sherehe za pasaka ambapo leo hii wameadhimi wameadhimisha siku ambayo wameamini Yesu alifufuka makanisa mengi katika mji wa Nakuru yalifurika waumini wengi wakitaja kuwa wana furaha ya kujumuika tena kwa wingi baada ya vikwazo vya kuzuia maambukizi ya COVID-19 kuondolewa imekuwa miaka mitatu sasa leo ndio siku ya kwanza tumekuwa na siku kuu kama hii kwa baada ya miaka mitatu tukiwa chini ya covid hatungeweza kuleta washirika hatungeweza kukutana lakini leo ndio umeona kuna furaha kubwa sana hapa nakuru kanisani watu wakisherekea Easter hii kuwa ni ufufuo na ni upendo mkubwa na pia ni wakati huu ndio Easter pia ya kwanza ambao pia ndugu zetu waislamu wanafunga na kusherekea nao Ramadhani wanakuwa kwenye Ramadhani na kwa hivyo tunafurahia na tunaombea inchi iwe na amani ujumbe wangu kwa wakati huo wa Easter ni mmoja peke yake amani 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 kwa sababu tuko tunaishi wakati mbaya sana watu wameanza kuchocheana na tunaomba iwe ni mwisho wa sisi kusikia shida hizi za matusi watu waheshimiane wale wanaomba kura ninawaomba muombe kura kwa amani Ombeni kula na upendo. Ukipata umepata. Ukikosa mwingine atakuja siku nyingine yako itakuweko. Na sasa tuangazie masuala ya siasa ambapo kujitosa kwa alikuwa gavana wa Nairobi Mike Mbovi Sonko kwenye kinyang'anyiro cha ugavana wa Mombasa kumeibua mkanganyiko kwenye chama cha Waipa. Viongozi wa chama hicho katika kaunti ya Mombasa wakipuuza madai ya mbungo wa kisauni Ali Mbogomenza kwamba amekabidhiwa tiketi ya moja kwa moja kwa nia wadhifa huo. Viongozi hao wakisema kuwa Mbogo atalazimika kumenyana na Sonko kwenye mchujo wa chama. Katibu wa masuala ya kidini katika chama cha Waipa Omar Twaha angesema kuwa waniaji walikabidhiwa tu barua za utambuzi na wala si cheti cha Teuzi. As Wiper Party aspirants, we wish to state that we have confidence in our party leadership which has very well laid down structures up, up to the ward levels and working county caucuses with Mombasa caucus chaired by Sheikh Twa. There has been utterances out there disregarding our Mombasa leadership. As aspirants, we wish to confirm to the public that our Mombasa Waipa leadership represents and speaks for the party. They are the only ones mandated to give party positions at all times and not an aspirant. As we speak today, we are aware as aspirants that at the gubernatorial level, we have two candidates for that position and the party therein will give us direction on how the matter will be settled and we have three ways of settling issues consensus or the ballot or uh, a survey system which shows who is popular kauli yetu ya waipa ni ile ile msimamo wa Mombasa ndio msimamo ule ambao uko Nairobi Msimamo wa waipa ya Mombasa ndio msimamo wa waipa ambao iko Nairobi. Msimamo wa chama ambaye yuko Mombasa ndio msimamo wa party leader na chama ambaye yuko Nairobi. Chama cha waipa Mombasa kama vile tunasema tuna two candidate ama two aspirant upande wa ugavana. Na still wao bado ni aspirant. Sonko ni aspirant Mheshimiwa Limbogo ni aspirant. Na hapa pia tuna maaspirant. So mtu akijitokeza akisema amepewa direct ticket kwa chama haswa kwa Mombasa atakuwa anazungumza jambo la la urongo si ukweli. 
na mbunge wa Makweni Dan Maanzo ametishia kuirai jamii ya Ukambani kususia kushiriki kwenye uchaguzi mkuu iwapo kiongozi wa Waipa Kalonzo Musyoka atanyimwa nafasi ya mgombea mwenza wa urais kwenye muungano wa Azimio One Kenya. Maanzo ambaye ni naibu katibu mkuu wa chama cha Waipa anasema kuwa chama hicho hakikushirikishwa wakati wa kubuniwa kwa baraza la muungano wa Azimio litakaloongozwa na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta huku Raila Odinga akiwa kiongozi wa chama. Maanzo akikosoa jinsi baraza hilo lilivyobuniwa akisema kuwa lina mwanachama mmoja pekee kutoka chama cha Waipa akisisitiza kuwa ni njama ya kutengea nafasi ya na naibu rais kwa mwaniaji wa eneo la mlima Kenya. We should have we were to register uh, the chairman of uh, the council who is the president of the Republic of Kenya uh, the presidential candidate and the deputy presidential candidate at the same time. But unfortunately that has, has not happened. And uh, when we have seen uh, the consentment which came out, again it was done without uh, proper consultation while setting up the neck. The people nominated from uh, Waipa Party were done without consensus or consent uh, or consultation of our party leader. And therefore, moving forward, uh, in future, any serious decisions uh, should at least be with consultations from uh, the domicile party. Na mwaniaji wa ugavana wa chama cha Waipa katika kaunti ya Machakos wa Vinyandeti ameelezea imani yake kwa Raila Odinga ataibuka na ushindi wa urais hivyo kuitaka jamii ya ukambani kutokuwa na wasiwasi wa kuachwa nyuma kwenye serikali ijayo. Aidha amesisitiza kuwa japo jamii hiyo imejitolea kumunga mkono Raila chama cha azimio sharti kimtengee kalonzo wadfa wa mwaniaji mwenza I also want to take this opportunity to thank my brother Macau. It is not easy for one to step down for the other. My brother Macau is a hero. He decided to step down for me and I want to thank him for that. Big respect to him. I want to kindly ask, ask the people of Mavoko, as they give me the seat of governor, they should give my brother Macau back his seat as a member of parliament for Mavoko. Sisi watu wa machakos, tunataka kuwaambia, tuko nyuma yenu, na atutishu, na atutishiki. Kuna zote za machako zinaingia kwa baba, uhuru na nani, na kalonzo. Nipali ya masipelu. Na mwenyekiti wa chama cha UDA Johnston Mudhama amewahakikishia wafuasi wake kuwa yuko imara kwenye kinyang'anyiro cha ugavana wa Machakos. Akizungumza huko Kitulu, Mudhama amewataka wafuasi wake wasiwe na shauku kuhusu hatima yake ya kisiasa kwani ni wazi atakuwa debeni kwenye kivumbi cha ugavana wa Machakos Agosti 9. Seeking for the position of governor in Machakos to be elected by the residents. Uh, so that I can serve them and help them. Uh, why am I saying this? The Bible says, if you want to lead your people well, you must understand them and you must know them. So I understand this community very well and I know them. I know what they need, I know what they have gone through, and I know what is it that needs to be done to give them justification that is good leadership in place. Na mgombea mteule wa chama cha UDA katika wodi ya biashara kwenye eneo bunge la Nakuru Mashariki amepinga mpango wa chama hicho kurudia upya zoezi la mchujo wa wadhifa huo. Mping, upingamizi huo umejiri baada ya bodi ya uchaguzi ya UDA kutangaza kuwa itaandaa upya zoezi la mchujo kwenye cha kwenye wodi hiyo baada ya baadhi ya waniaji kutoa malalamishi kuhusiana na uteuzi huo. Mgombea huyo mteule Fadhili Msuri amesema kuwa hata shiriki kwenye mchujo huo akilaumu chama hicho kwa 
kwa kuwapendelea baadhi ya wapinzani wake. Niko na provisional certificate hapa. That was issued. At the returning officer at St. At St. Mary's Tallinn Center. Tunakubali walikuwa na haki ya kusik redress kwa UDA. Kwa sababu chama imeweka mechanism ya kuaddress those issues. Lakini chama haingekimbilia kutoa notice ya kurudia uchaguzi na mimi sijasikizwa. I'm the holder of the certificate. I'm the declared winner kwa hiyo nomination. But I was not informed. I was not involved. Watu walichukuana, wakaenda wakadanganya chama kwamba on that Thursday hakuna kura ilipigwa hapa biashara wodi which ni urongo what i'm calling upon the party since wamejua ukweli na ukweli ni kwamba kura ilipigwa hawa watu watatu ambao walikose violence lazima chama kwanza iwachukulie disciplinary measures kwa sababu walikose violence na walizuia watu ku exercise their democratic right paka sasa tunapozungumza hakuna barua yote ya ku cancel hiyo certificate hakuna barua yote ya kuonesha kura ambayo kwamba ilipigwa katika eh, biashara ward ilikuwa ni ya haramu hii certificate ambayo kwamba tunayo imetoka katika ofisi ya UDA hii certificate ni genuine sisi ni cosmopolitan sisi sisi hatutambui dini hatutambui ukabila kwa hivyo sisi tunasema kama watu wa lower biashara the 19 polling stations hakuna kura tunarudia hizo sawa ine wajua vile watafanya wao ndo walifunga wao wao walifunga police station zao ambazo kwamba ni stronghold zao kwa hivyo ila ujinga walifanya wasifikire sio ndo watatubakizia Tukisalia na siasa ni kwamba wafuasi wa mgombea kiti cha ubunge wa Nambale, kaunti ya Busia, Geoffrey Mulanya, wanakitaka chama cha ODM kutoa uamuzi wa haraka kuhusu kura za mchujo wa chama hicho uliositishwa. Wakiongozwa na Eric Omwindi na Dennis Mapesa, wafuasi hao wamesikitishwa na hatua ya chama hicho kusalia kimya baada ya kusitisha kura za mchujo za kiti hicho Jumatatu iliyopita ambapo Mulanya alitarajiwa kumenyana na Kevin Okwara wafuasi hao aidha wametishia kukigura chama cha ODM wapo akitafanya uamuzi wa busara kuhusiana na swala hilo Mimi nasikitika tumeenda kwa maneno ya kura ya ODM lakini kwa saa hii tunaambiwa kura ya ODM walipatiana watu direct tickets ndio Tiket zikaenda wakasema mbunge wetu ambaye ni Mulanya awata kampeni aenda apewe tiket. Sasa hiyo anasema tena tiket apewi tena narudi tena twende kampeni. Kampeni gani hii? Na muda nani alikuwa anataka aende kura amalizana na Okwara. Alikuwa mahamua. Na watu walikuwa wanataka twende kura tumalizane. Sasa ODM mnaita jamaa mnamwambia tiket ndio hii. Tena saa hii tena kitu ya ukora. Mulanya ana support ODM for the last 10 years yes. na mara hii tunataka Mulanya aingie bunge. Na tunapeana ODM 24 hours. Wasipotuambia ile kitu inaendelea na huko Nairobi. Wasipotuambia ile kitu inaendelea huko Nairobi, no ODM na Mbale, no Mulanya. ODM ituambie ukweli. Kama iko na ujanja, watuambie mapema ODM zikanyake na Mbale. Sisi watu wanapata tumetoa maoni. Tunasema bila Mulanya Hatutapiga kura yoyote hata ile ya mwezi wa nane Mashari tuna sheria yetu kama wakaaje wa namba ale tunasema ya kwamba hakuna mulanya hakuna ODM namba Kana mko Tunaomba mheshimiwa kama wamama tulikuwa tumekubali kwenda kwa mchujo na tulitaka kupiga huyo mtu ambaye ametuletea mahali hapa kuchafua kichama chetu cha ODM kwamba tungeenda mchujo na kama si hivyo tunakupatia 24 hours uwe kama umasilisha hiyo cheti kwa Geoffrey Mulanya Haya tukiachana na siasa sasa tuangazie masuala ya utamaduni ambapo kwa miaka mingi wana jamii ya Gikuyu wamekuwa kikashifiwa kwa kuacha baadhi ya mila desturi za jamii hiyo miongoni mwa mambo ambayo yanasemekana kuachwa ni pamoja na upishwa vyakula vya kitamaduni ambavyo wazee wa jamii hiyo wanasema vilikuwa na umuhimu mkubwa enzi zao mwanahabari wetu Clement Masombo alizuru kijiji kimoja huko Nyeri ambapo wakazi wamejitolea kutoa mafunzo ya jinsi ya kudumisha utamaduni wa jamii ya Wakikuyu 
Kilomita chache kutoka mji wa Nyeri unafika katika kijiji cha Mtadhine katika eneo bunge la Tetu. Wenyeji hapa kutokana na kero la kuambiwa kwamba watu wa jamii ya Gikuyu hawana mila, walianzisha kituo hiki cha kutoa mafunzo kwa wakazi wa hapa. Kituo cha mafunzo ya utamaduni cha Kigera kilianzishwa mwaka 1999. Lengo lake kuu likiwa kutoa mafunzo kwa wakazi wa eneo la Mlima Kenya kuhusu utamaduni wa jamii yao. Sasa sema mkoza kabila ni mtumwa. Sasa tutafutika watu habari ya ya, ya, ya chakula ya, ya kitamaduni. Kuko chakula haina kwenda bali sisi tunasemaga ile wedding. Ni tuko na chakula haina hiyo. Na tunapigaga. Walengwa hapa kwanza walikuwa wanawake. Mafunzo kwao yalikuwa jinsi ya kuandaa vyakula vya kitamaduni kama vile mokimo na nduma na vyakula vingine vinavyotumika wakati wa sherehe tofauti za wakikuyu. Hapa ni pale ya, ya kusomesha wa watoto watu wazima wale haja jua maana kikuni nini sisi tunapiga maidi maharagwe na hiyo ingine inaitwa juu jahi tunapiga yote tukatafuta maboga tukashanganya zote tukapiga chakula inaitwa mukimo Purity anasema kwamba vyakula vya kitamaduni vilikuwa vyenye nguvu sana kulinganisha na vyakula vya sasa hasa kwa wanaume ina nguvu zaidi ya kuzida za hii za, za babu wakati huo ukikula mihogo unajua stash dio nyingi kwa, kwa mihogo kwa mihogo wanaume wana kwanza hawezi tupa ile nguvu ya yao jinsi ya kupika pia ilikuwa tofauti sana wakati wao vyakula havikuwa vinakaangwa na kama ingebidi hawangetumia mafuta ya dukani kukaanga vyakula bali walikuwa wanatumia mafuta ya mifugo kama vile mbuzi ama kondoo tunatumia chakula peke yake na moto na maji hakuna kitu kingine hakuna kukaaga hata wazugu wakikuja sisi hawezi tumia mafuta mafunzo mengine yanayotolewa hapa ni jinsi ya kutengeneza pombe ya kitamaduni maarufu kama muratina Muratina ni kileo ambacho kinaenziwa sana katika jamii ya Wakikuyu na ikipatikani kwa uraisi wala kunyewa ovyo. Muratina pia ilitumika kutakasa boma au mali nyumbani kama vile mbuzi. Tena uko na ujina tunapigaga inaitwa pombe. Na kuko na uji. Ile ile ya kufua kwa majile. Tunawekaga hiyo kwa ajili ya ni kuonekana wakati hiyo tuli tunataka kuoa. Lakini hata kabla ya kuinywa kuna mambo kadhaa yanayofanywa. Mzee Ndego anaeleza umuhimu wake. Ni ajili kwa watu wajili wa ndara. Hiyo na mwalia wangu mbele ya mimi. Tena ni kama bia ni lajiweka. Kaya kama bia ati niko karibu. Na hiyo alijo agaliwa najua. Hii jina ni mkono wa gwiji. Hiyo na nguvu ya kutoka mali. Lakini je, kazi ya wavulana nyumbani katika jamii ya Kikuyu ilikuwa gani? Mambo hasa na vijana. Ni kulinda boma yani kijana kita, akifika umri wa kutailiwa akitailiwa anajengewa nyumba yake anawekoa mahali atalinda mali yao kando na kutoa ulinzi wa boma wavulana pia walikuwa na jukumu la kuwinda mali na kuleta nyumbani kwa wale ambao wangefanikiwa kushika wanyama wakubwa walikuwa natawazwa kuwasimamia wenzao katika jamii yani ndio tunaitaga kikuyu warriors na, na ndio wanaenda kuwinda mali ndio warete na wasemavyo swahili kwamba mwacha mila ni mtumwa wito umetolewa kwa vijana na wanajamii ya Kikuyu kudumisha utamaduni wao na kuepuka kuiga mila za kigeni ambazo zinawapotesha wengi na kuwatumbukiza vijana kwenye majanga Clement Masombo KTA News Kwa kweli mwacha mila ni mtumwa na tutakaporudi katika mila zetu basi tutaweza kurudi katika njia mwafaka ambayo itasaidia wengi lakini je unamjuaje magoha Nataka tuangazie taarifa hii. Kwa wengi waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoha ni mtu mwenye sura ngumu. Asipenda mzaha wala kucheza ovyo. Ila simulizi zake hivi majuzi kuhusu maisha yake ya awali zimetoa taswira nyingine kumhusu. Leo hii tunamwangazia Profesa George Magoha kama mcheza gita shupavu aliyekuwa mwanachama wa kikundi cha walioishi mitaa ya mashariki mwa Nairobi yani Islands. Iwapo gazeti la The Standard halingechapisha kibonzo hiki kilichomuonesha George Magoha akiwa mwanamuziki shupavu huenda taarifa kuhusu maisha ya awali yake waziri huyo wa elimu azingefichuka. Kwenye kibonzo hicho Magoha anaonekana akiwa kwenye sare ya shule ya sekondari ya starehe na akiwa na gita yake. Those of you who read The Standard saw the cartoon. The cartoon where I was playing guitar. 
It is true. Magoa anasema alikuwa mwanachama wa genge la vijana katika mitaa ya Eastlands. It is true that I grew up in Eastlands as uh, one of the tough guys there. I used to be a deputy commander of a juvenile gang called uh, Sicheki. <laughs> and uh, we used to have skirmishes with all the other groups at uh, Ololo and Makongeni and elsewhere. Alipokuwa akitekeleza majukumu yake kwenye genge hilo, Magoa anasema, aliwaona wanafunzi wa shule ya wavulana ya sekondari ya starehe wakiimba kwenye runinga. Hali iliyomchochea na kutaka hata zaidi kujiunga na shule hiyo. So I decided I wanted to go there. I liked those bright colors, bright blue and bright red. So I decided I wanted to go there. And uh, because of that band. And that also attracted me to playing bass guitar. Baadaye Magu alijiunga na kundi la wanamuziki lililokuwa likiongozwa na mwanamuziki mkongwe Ochenka Basele kama mcheza gita ya bass. Alikuwa mwanachama wa kundi hilo kwa zaidi ya mwaka mmoja alipofanikiwa kutunga na kuimba nyimbo zake. And how did I stop playing a band in the band? We had uh, regimented officers at Stare Boy Center who ensured that there were rules to be followed. Eventually I was not able to do practice and they replaced me. But we had recorded two songs at that time and I got 30 shillings for each of them. Which was really nothing. Hata hivyo Magoa aliendeleza utundu wake hata baada ya kujiunga na shule ya Stare Boy Center. Kwani mara kwa mara alikwepa shuleni kupitia dirisha ili kwenda kuzurura mjini. I had rich classmates who had Comorera bicycles. So since I was so attracted to the bicycle, that is splendid outside glamour. I would escape in, during the lectures in the window and borrow the bicycle and go to town. But since the uniform was so bright, our people at Sarai would follow me and pick me back to class. Magoa aliasimulia hayo kwenye kongamano la 12 la ufadhili wa masomo kwa wanafunzi kupitia Limu Scholarship na Wings to Fly. Lengo lake lilikuwa kuwatia motisha wanafunzi hao mbali na kuwashauri kuhusu umuhimu wa kufanya maamuzi ya busara maishani. Kutoka maisha ya ubabe mitaani hadi mwimbaji na mcheza gita kwenye kundi la mziki na hatimaye kujiunga na shule ya sekondari ya starehe. Magoa anasema asinge kwa mkurugenzi na mwanzilishi wa starehe Boys Center Geoffrey Griffin na msimamizi wa shule hiyo enzi hizo Patrick Shaw wenda maisha yake yangeharibika kabisa. Having been kind which means I was being looked after. Patrick Shaw would come to the class 3 4 times in the morning to check if I'm still there. So when I was controlled just a bit then I started to know that with my own self drive if it was directed in the right place I could be very intelligent. Kwa wazira naye tambulika na wengi kuwa mtu asiyependa mzaha na mchapa kazi. Simulizi hii inatoa picha tofauti kabisa kumhusu Magoa kuliko jinsi alivyokuwa ametambulika hapo awali. Shadrack Miti, Kitchen News. Maisha yako ya sasa hayajalishi maisha yako ya baadaye ndio yanajalisha zaidi kwa hivyo kama saizi mtundu unaweza kubadilika na kesho baadaye ukawa profesa unaitambulika kila mahali na kuheshimika ndio tunayosoma kutoka kwa taarifa hiyo inayohusu George Magoha kufika hapo sina la ziada ila kutamatisha mbiu weekend lakini mwendo wa saa kumi na moja mwalimu Frank atakuwa hapa kuja kukuelimisha kusiana na mchakato mzima wa kidato cha kwanza mimi ni Suleiman Yeri kwa heri tukutane hapo mwendo wa saa moja kwenye mbiu kwenye leo KTN leo weekend Get the whole story.